Hi, this is part two of the episode. Um, anyway, getting back to what I was saying, the obsessions, like, I was obsessed with Ozzy for years, and year. well, it was more like, I want to say three, four years, <laughs> and then, um, and then Mr. Big is what helped me open up and get out of the Ozzy obsession with it, Ozzy. And that's in the Mr. Big song, To Be With You. Because I really, absolutely loved that so- song. Even though I only had a clip on my recorder. I think it was by accident <laughs> that I ended up recording that. Yeah, it was by accident. And, um, but that clip was what made me absolutely love that song. And ever since then, it's been one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Ever since then, ever since 2009, it's been my favorite song. Besides another postcard um, recently last year. Or, no, actually it was more like two years ago. (laughs) But, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Man, how time flies. But anyway, um, I can't believe it's been two years. But, yeah. (laughs) So, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I've been into, like, rock music and stuff a lot. And my obsessions varied from... I'm sorry, I do not know how to zoom in on myself. But, um, the obsessions varied from... uh, What? Um, celebrity, like, voice actors and actresses and regular actors to musicians. Um... To all sorts of musicians and things like that. And then I started getting into Bare Naked Ladies. Well, I've been into them off and on. Bare Naked Ladies was not a new one. Well, yeah, and it was was one of the bands I absolutely loved when I was little. And the other band I loved was um, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears. And I was a huge fan of those bands when I was... Like, just like every other kid was into them. So I was into the same bands every other kid was. Even now, there's certain of uh, the newer, you know, type of bands that I like. Like Adele and that stuff that, that I like. And and uh, 21 Pilots. The song uh, Stressed Out is a song that I'm really into. Oh my god. It's on repeat. And I know why. It's because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't turn that off. Because I accidentally pressed the. See this player that I have. I can't zoom in on it, so you probably won't be able to see it. But it has this like this like panel. All the all the on and off and st- all but but the, all the on and off and fat forward and rewind is like a big ring, and you have to press certain areas of that ring. And sometimes I press the wrong button and it gets into the repeat mode. And if you press too many of them, and if you press too many at once, it will be like, and it will spasm like really bad. I know from experience. So I've learned to be more careful. (laughs) Because it was not a player I was used to. I got it last year because... Another one that I had broke, because my very first one, or the first one before the other ones, had broken too, uh, and stopped accepting um, certain CDs, and the anti-skip broke on it, so I had to get a new one. (laughs) Well, yeah, and and then the people at school laughed at me about my CD player, and yeah, like they laughed at me and and stuff like that. It was staff. It was not students. I know, you know, a lot of the C plus and stuff would. I don't think it was Vicky though, who was on my Facebook. But I think it was. Um, I know it was other people that did it. It wasn't her. She wasn't involved in it. It was. It was other people that did it. Like. 
it, it was other staff. It wasn't any of the staff that are on my Facebook. So, yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. And as they laughed at me and things like that, I ended up getting a new CD player. Well, the first new one I got, God, wasn't really new, but it was a um, sport one. The one where you have the arm strap and it goes over your arm. That was perfect for me for when I worked at the Nature Center. But then that one broke. It only took like one AA battery though. It, that one broke and it had good battery life. But that one broke and it would not like... Yeah, that one broke. And then I got... Well, actually, the reason I got a new one was because it wasn't accepting my Renegade Lady Snack Time CD that was burned. So, I had to get a different player for that. I t oh my god, my thing must have bumped a button. <laughs> I think it bumped a button. Yeah, my speaker bumped a button. So, <laughs> oh no, it's the mode I was in. Oh no. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, so I had to get it out of that mode, and I had to turn the background music off. So, yeah, now we're not having a background music for the rest of this video. But anyway, um, yeah, I ended up getting a new player. The one I ended up, the first one ended up not working. And then the second one worked just fine, because we bought a new one. I went to the store with the snack bar when they went shopping, and I got one. But anyway, getting back to obsessions, um, the Bare Naked Ladies uh, started full blown um, a, two years ago when I was uh, almost twenty, and then it, yeah, and then I went and seen them last year in concert and absolutely loved them it, and the Violent Femmes, and that's when I started getting back into the Violent Femmes a little bit, but the trouble was, I didn't have any albums to listen to of them anymore. So, yeah, it didn't become full-blown again, because it became full-blown in 2012, but not again until, or 2013, actually, but it did not get full-blown again until just a f couple weeks ago. <laughs> so... <laughs> With well, with Gordon Gano, pretty much, but yeah, still. Anyway, that's what what's going on today, and I will talk to you guys later, and hopefully do that broadcast for you later. See you later.